Hey everyone, it's Amador, and today I wanted to have a little chit chat. I received um, um, a lot of questions, so I wanted to have come on and do a little video and have a little chit chat about tilde of papers. Now, I've received a lot of comments and questions on some of my older videos, either haul videos or project videos, with tilde paper products, and. And this is the Tone Finnegan, Finnegan, I'm totally butchering her name, Tilda as opposed to Magnolia Tilda. So we're not talking about Magnolia Tilda today. I'm talking about the Tilda papers. Now, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up on where you guys can still get some of the papers and give you kind of a little bit of a rundown of a little bit of the situation. So let me grab some stuff. I have some stuff over here. So let's what i'm talking about is stuff like this like uh the tilda this is the country escape this of course is the holy grail of tilda um now i yes i do have a little just a little teensy weensy bit of stash of tilda now um i think people if people have tried to get me to sell them so my tilda and i'm sorry it's not gonna happen i apologize right now if there's a fire i'm grabbing my box of tilda stuff and my dog Nathan better run too. I don't know. So anyhow, this is um, this is the country escape. So there are two. There's two kind of styles that they're doing with the tilde. Now this is the older stuff. This stuff, unfortunately, is retired. Yes, I said it. I tell people that, and I think they think I'm just trying to hide it from them. So this is what it is very shabby, chic country. There's pages with tags, and then the cutouts. The um, the cutouts of those like that one is the country escape there's this one that's the christmas play absolutely gorgeous and see it has the papers backgrounds uh, cards tags and then the cutouts so this is from my little stash also something like the happiness is homemade now all of these collections like i've used some of this one all of these collections have unfortunately retired um some of their newer collections that are gone with a newer collections now i will say because um what i want to talk to you about is things like those these collections it's really hard to get um in the uk probably you can find some in sweden and everything probably but they're really hard to get some of these older ones so what i want to just tell you guys is normally what i where i direct people is to esme shop now esme has um a Facebook group that it's like our Facebook store. It's Crafty Me Tilda. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I will of course have the link down here in the description. So don't think that she like bought me off with some Tilda or something. No, I actually messaged her and I said, hey, I've gotten a lot of requests, a lot of questions. Can I just, you know, talk about your shop and that's where you're going to go because normally that's where I send people. But the thing is, technology is not my best friend. Okay. So <laughs> I give people the link or whatever and I somehow do it wrong. My, maybe it's something to do with my phone. I don't know. I have no idea. Like when I get a link from my computer as opposed to my phone, it doesn't work right. Anyway, so I will have the correct link down in the description. Now she has a shop called, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my mess. So my craft room is a little hot, holy mess. Over there is even worse. So it's like it really distracting me. So I apologize. So her shop, she has sales at her shop. She'll announce like what, so you guys have to join this group. Um, it's Crafty Me Tilda, so join the group and you will get the notifications of what's coming in, of things that she's doing. She does swaps and all of these things, these Tilda swaps and all of these things as well on her group. Now, uh, that's where she announces like the sales and everything. And I know that she is having a sale Monday, this Monday, which is tomorrow. I was supposed to do this video a few days ago, but I'm sorry, I've been super busy and super tired from work. Um, so she's going to have a small sale on Monday and it's... What's today's date? Like the 13th? So tomorrow's the 14th, I think, of August. So um, I just got off of work, so I'm really tired, a little worn out, a little loopy. Um, I work graveyard, if you guys didn't know. Side note. So anyway, uh, so but she does have another sale coming up. But nevertheless, do not if you are looking to get some of these items, do not miss a sale because this stuff is dwindling in availability big time. So she's even said that it's even harder to find some of the stuff. So from what I understand, between her and Carmen. Um, they locate the stuff and, you know, she gets it sent to her and they get it all together. And I do know also, um, from Marilyn G. Hey, Marilyn. Also, and hey, it's me, everybody. Um, she has gotten in contact with the Tilda people and they said that, yeah, they're going to completely discontinue doing their paper products and they're going to focus on the fabric lines. So if you guys do know something about the Tilda lines, all of the papers that I just showed you, they also have fabric versions. So 
And you can find some of the fabric versions, fabric versions in some stores still. Uh, most of the things that I bought were also from European stores and from Tracy's shop. Unfortunately, Tracy's shop is no longer open. Um, it was Art Attack Supplies. And that's where we got a lot of stuff because she was actually selling directly from them. But that was a pain in the butt. I know for a fact because I would talk to her about it. And it's hard because that stuff gets shipped literally from the other side of the world. It comes in damaged. It's, it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, so please know that this stuff isn't... Even the resale of it now, it's not cheap. But please know that from the beginning, it was not cheap. I've spent a couple of nickels here and there um, getting my collection and stashed away. Hence why it's not so easy for me to like, part with it. I've done kits and stuff like that. But, um, and I'll show you a collection that I am going, I'm planning to do a kit with in the future whenever I get around to that. But it's no time soon. <laughs> um, but... Let me show you the new, newer collection, then I'll tell you the, you'll see the difference. This is one of the newer collections, and I'm trying to find the other one. Oh, it's right here. So this is one of the newer collections. This one is Spring Diaries. As you can see, this has more of a floral motif, a little bit more of a fabric quilting kind of look to it. So, and these are all, they're all double-sided. Cardstock is phenomenal. It's really nice and thick. And you see that, but they do not have cards and tags and stuff within the paper like the other ones did. Now, these newer ones do have these things, which ha which are called, this is the candy box. Like this one is from Sweetheart, and that's this collection right here. This is the one, I have a few of these, so I'm planning to do kits later on. Not with the papers of like a mini album or something to that effect. I have no idea, I haven't decided. I put a video up there asking people what they thought they would want to look towards because I don't want to make something and people really don't want to buy it. And then I'm stuck with something I've already butchered a paper with or something. So, and these have like tags and um, a few embellishments and stuff. Like this one had this little bug, this little bug thing. And then tags of different shapes. So each one of them has in accordance to whatever the, the collection is. Um, let me show you. This one is part of my garden. And this is uh, one of the ones that came out around the same time. But you can see these are the papers that are in that collection so to that style so you can see the difference between these and these now these also had like the country escape also had boxes now these had these these had different little trinkets and accents and little rosettes on this one this is the actual country escape this one goes with this one the die cuts now the cool thing was that the die cuts that came in it were the die cuts that were in here but they are thicker layers and have like stickles on them glitter and stuff like that but even so like this kit at the beginning even so like with buying it from regular purchase um at the point where they had them they were like 25 dollars yeah for this so not cheap like these were 25 dollars and these were ranging between 25 um dollars and up for the paper pad so please know that it's not cheap and then to ship 12 by 12 pads and paper isn't cheap please know it's it's heavy it takes this you know a, a substantial size so when you do finally find some you know um those are the things now, i'm also going to tell you of a few shops um besides esme's shop she's the one that sells some of the beautiful collectibles she also makes kits with like the fabric the paper and different things that go with the kit to extend the life of your um your toilet paper now where I've ordered, ordered from, and I'll leave the links to these stores, they have some of the newer collections and some of the fabrics, and you'll be able to find some, but keep in mind, these are ones in Italy, ones in Spain, I think. Yeah, ones in Spain, ones in Italy. And also, if you are in Sweden, or other places, Pandoro, this is the company that actually makes it. Pandoro, you can find them at those shops. Pandoro is a a multi-purpose kind of craft and stuff shop that you can find all sorts of stuff so they're the ones that make it but I mean that's easier for people in other European countries as opposed to in the US I'm talking about the US and how you're gonna get some okay so Casa Sanina let me show you I have it uh, pulled up on my boop, boop, boop. Casa Sanina and of course I'll leave a link that's that I pulled up some Tilda stuff you can still find some of this stuff if I can get it to work like the books and stuff, you can find some of it, some of the things still on there. See, they have books and thread and fabric and all sorts of things. 
you can still find some of the newer lines maybe some of the fabrics from the older lines if i were you i'd get some of the fabric spray some adhesive on it slap it on some cardstock and bam you have dimensional fabric so that is one that one is in italy i think i've actually ordered from them also um this one is another one is stitch craft create it also falls under so and so now i guess I've actually given people this link before as well, and these are the things that some of the things that I pulled up. These are the fabrics, wrapping papers, stuff like that, notebooks. They make all sorts of things. I've given people this link, and they're like, it's just a sewing thing. Well, keep in mind, some of the collections are fabrics, as you can see. Some of the collections are fabrics. So many little accents, trust me. Oh my gosh. If you actually Google Tilda catalog, there's a website. Oh, gorgeous. Don't do it. Don't do it because you're gonna want it even more. Okay, I should probably try to see if I can find it so I can tempt you guys. Okay, I'm back. Now, I found the website that I was looking for. Now, if you go to ISSUU and look up Tilda, like this is one of the newer catalogs, um, and you will see the catalogs. And this has, like, sorry for the weird angle. This has the stuff that's Tone, that's the lady that created this stuff. And she's only like 25 or 26 or something. As you can see, these are the fabric lines. You can make dolls. The books are awesome for inspiration. And that's the one collection I was telling you I'm going to do some kits. And these are some things from the past. Like you can still, I actually have one of these. I want one of these. But they're so expensive and then to ship over here. These are the different things um, that they have. You can still maybe make the dolls and stuff. Look for these online. But if you check that out, it has tons of inspiration. Oh, I'm not even in the camera. Um, for the catalog. Now, the website that I was talking about, the blog, is called Shabby Art Boutique. You guys have to follow it. And I'll leave a link to them as well. And they have tons of stuff, very shabby, rustic. They do quite a bit of things. They have tutorials, things you can stop shop there. But also, they use a lot of Tilda in their blog and stuff. And they have such amazing things. Check the shop. Check so many things. And they're from Australia. So they're super, super awesome. So yeah, just some, there's some Tilda information out there for you guys. But like I said, um, if you are looking for the the the, the older Tilda, the, the oh my gosh, like I'm dying. There's even older stuff than that, okay? I didn't get some of the, like the garden party and there's other ones that are just like super gorgeous. And I didn't get those, but because I wanted to get more of the country escape and the Christmas party, I mean the Christmas play and stuff like that. If I showed you the box, it'd be embarrassing, so I won't because it's really bad. Um, I'm a naughty kid, but that is where my lunch money goes. That's that's why I work so hard. That's why I work like 10-hour shifts at gra uh, Graveyard and stuff. And anyway, but I digress. So yes, please, you guys, check out Esme's shop. Like I said, she was having a sale on Monday the 14th. Nathan, what's today's date? 13th. Yeah, so Monday, August 14th, she's having a sale. And within the next few weeks, three weeks, I believe she's going to have another sale. Um... She has a design team. They have awesome things. And like I said, check her out. That is uh, what I wanted to share with you guys because I know people are trying to find these papers and they're not that easy to find. I've ordered from Etsy. People are like, I've seen them on Etsy. They're really expensive. FYI, they are expensive. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep from sounding so like mean about that or aggressive, but they were expensive. They are expensive. But keep in mind, now they're discontinued, so they're very limited in stock out there. Um, but they were not cheap. People were like, you're crazy. I'm like, yeah, but now you want them too. So, you know, what do you want me to tell you? Um, and that's why I was getting them when I could. Um, so, but like I said, and also I do plan on doing a kit, probably some mini albums. I really don't know. I put a video, like I said, what did you guys think? What did, what, did, what would you guys think? And so, right now the fad is like loaded envelopes and folded pocket, whatever is the craps. And, um... I personally wouldn't buy a kit like that, but, and I think that's more of a, oh, I'd like to see that, but who's going to pay for it? And I, you know, I'm, these aren't cheap, so, and I'm not going to use, I used them for what I wanted to use them, and I had some left over, so I want to do some mini album kits probably, but I don't know, but don't even count on that anytime soon, okay? <laughs> so, but like I said, you guys, thank you for stopping by. I really wanted to give you guys that little information. Join Esme's group, um... Crafting me Tilda. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yes, 
and she has stuff going all the time like I said they do swaps they do all kinds of stuff on that site so you guys can get more inspiration but more importantly you can be notified when new stuff is coming up I love seeing the pictures because she sets up everything so beautifully oh my gosh she sets everything up so beautifully and you see all these things I'm like and the funny thing I'm like I have that but I want it more like I want that one so so check it out I know I have issues um, thank you guys for stopping by and I'll talk to you guys soon bye everyone